Hi guys, welcome back to uh, Workers and Resources, the S Top Chats Republic, uh, no, the Sputnik Challenge. Uh, my name is Kaya Maya, and it's minus zero degrees, which is fun. Um, so, uh, what did I do the, the last time? Again, I forgot to uh, remove the people here. Uh, so it's, it's getting to the point where it's maybe a bit uh, annoying. I need to remember turn off the people uh, there or um, 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 re remove people from outside the construction office and I really would love that to be a default option so we need money and we need it fast as well and we have one truck going here uh, which is going to bring us 15,000 so and then we cannot have a full load for the steel uh, but also uh, I think what I'm going to do is just send this vehicle on its way so we, we get another twelve and a half thousand there so um, what are we going to do today uh, well first press play and we're going to hopefully watch the oil area be finished and I want to monitor that uh, like crazy and what I'm also seeing is that our dumpers are not very active so I thought maybe plan our um, radio station and this one is doing pretty well 55 workers one crane excellent um, planning a radio station and just create the grounds of that or the basis also what I was thinking if I try to do some tricks because you um, have steel so if I change you to load steel what will you do will you go and yes you're first going to deliver the steel and that is what I wanted so I have to check if no one else you are uh, deciding to go load steel you are that one and oh you are just doing the bricks okay then we can uh, turn this off and then uh, send you home so now we're getting this amount of steel here okay that's what I wanted and now I want to see in the open holes what, what your uh, priorities are uh, why are you doing the police station that's not uh, really what I uh, wanted so uh, the heat exchanger is high but you already have everything delivered okay now we have the heating pipes you still need 23 tons of steel. I think we have 21 in the car. And then the garbage office. You don't need steel. And the high voltage wires. You need 17. So you are going to medium. Medium now. And then I hope that the first steel delivery will be on the heating pipeline. And well, because we need money for the, the pipeline. But also we need money uh, to buy some... Uh, uh, snow plows okay so I want to get this a bit, a bit on the road that they have stuff to do so I want to plan our radio station first and then we're going to probably uh, look at the comments and things like this and maybe get this because this is also 22 tons of steel so yeah lots to, lots to do um, the radio station um, where would you be is a radio station um, here the other one this is going great okay uh, because oh yeah oh yeah yeah first I, I, I already talked about this I wanted to plan it here but I don't have any water and sewage here and here I have or or electricity and here I have everything so this uh, sounded to me like the better option um, what, how are we, are we going to plan this? Like so, or like so. I think here. Maybe here? Uh, maybe yes. Is it too close? No, 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 that's fine. Okay. Then plan the road. Plan the road. So, uh... 
Or can you go? No, you won't. I'll go. So, like this. And then. This is fine. Uh, go build. Go build. Okay. Um. Good path. Oh, 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 oh. Go like this. Go like. A little bit. Not like this. Hmm. Maybe like so. Uh, and then. I was a sweet spot. Come on. Not really straight. Oh. Does it bother me? Yes. Don't, don't connect. Okay. Uh, don't connect. Don't connect. Like so. Then. Back. No. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, build you. You and you. Okay. So how are we doing with the steel? Um. 8.4 I had 20 Did I click something else? Okay So Is my steel delivered? And are you already uh, on your way? Or are you still coming? You're still coming here So where are you? Oh, you, oh yeah You're going 38 kilometers an hour <laughs> Okay So you will choose this road Okay so, you can start, you are starting so to see, uh, these two can start, um, let's see what are we doing, do we have electrical components here, we do, so the wires which I wanted to finish, oh those are, no those are not on, is anyone going your direction, is, uh, uh, not really, why is that? Why would you not? The holes? We do have electrical components. Why would you not go there? Why would you not go there? Am I, am I, am I missing something? Related vehicles. These are all uh, buses. So why would you not bring the wires? Did I not assign? Electrical components Well, what if you... Why would you not go? You are a covered hole Isn't that weird? What? Oh, this is the next phase. Darn. That's that's not the current phase. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um So, where's our steel coming here? It's November 6. Oh, wait a minute. My uh, technical office is finished, so you can bring your fuel there. Thank you. And what I'm going to do is 32,000 at the moment. Uh, one of you go here. And uh, we want none of the mud roads. So 
Hole of the Gravel Road. Hole of the Asphalt Road. Well, there's none, none in the vicinity yet. Speaking of, I need to check how my asphalt, how my bitumen is doing. Because we also need to fix for that. But instead, we are building the base of a radio station. Okay. Uh, are you full? Do have. Okay. Um, how are these constructions coming? What are you waiting for? Yeah, still. So, here is the steel coming. Where are you going? Unfinished high, high voltage. Uh, you are going to my pipeline, right? Heating pipe, thank you. Okay, so it's November 7th, and then we. How is the temperature? It is as fine. I think that will be fine now. Uh, yeah, 24. So yeah. Um, so let's kind of press play now because this is this is going, and let's look at the comments for a bit. Um, Let me see. Um, um, I'm in the wrong window here. And here I need to uh, be. Okay, Dennis says, uh, thanks Kaya, I hope your shop is now stable. And I, I said I hope so too. But he also says, I would not be so stingy when it comes to your seller amount. Having people waiting there in line can cost you more than five missing plebs in the factory. Um, but I'm not being stingy because we have all sellers assigned. I can't uh, up that. And uh, what I do see that sometimes it's it still our uh, shoppers in front of the shop. So we are going to, ha to have to build another shop. And um, maybe somewhere here or I want to kind of search what was a good location for the shop. Um, but maybe also here and then have a bigger shop behind it or something um, so that we can use the same well tiny warehouse maybe something like this okay um, Adam says that the uh, Beeble Joe's solution usually is to attach a four times unloading station to the warehouse everything bits and everything can unload and, and to happily work with distribution center and or wait until loaded with limits set in the warehouse. With the amount of flats planned, another shopping center would be good. Yes, that, that's what I was talking about just earlier. That was your comment. Maybe a big one. Maybe just a thousand of the line of flats. Maybe there's another kindergarten and uh, everything else that oh, wait, more uh, goes with everything. Yes, you're right. And um, I, I also was thinking about having a road cargo station with a... Uh, a road going there so that we don't have to go through the city all the time that makes it uh, quicker going up and down um, I am checking my uh, so we need 0.54 tons of steel okay let's hope uh, that we are going to get that pretty soon because here steel is out that's a shame that's a shame <laughs> okay anyway um, 42 yes let's 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 load some steel now and um, uh, load okay and on the oh yeah that's what I want this and I want to check if one vehicle is getting steel and not two like here what okay one of you is going to have to go home that's because of the settings of the warehouse on at 52 yeah hey. so you're going home because I can't afford you at the moment so one of them is getting steel that's the better option um wait a minute I was doing comments and um yeah that was about the road cargo station yeah that, that that's a great idea to do it like that um much better than what we're doing now but I will do this in the winter when we are going to uh, finish crime and justice and then I'll, I'll also uh, plan a road cargo station here because now it's more important to do everything what's uh, you know up there down there 
Okay. And then um, Kuba Kroll, I hope I pronounce your name right, uh, said as for steel production and high capacity freight, which is a bit chicken and egg question, I, I have one on my own. What will be cheaper? Conveyor belt from iron plant to steel plant or train line with aggregate storages at each end? But in the time needed between establishing coal production plus steel plant and iron mine and processing it maybe decent is idea to use iron imports, sure. It won't be available to export, but it will reduce costs because iron is far cheaper than steel to buy. As for trains, sure, you have said that you'll concentrate on export via ships, but whatever you need to export will need to be transported from facilities deeper inland, which is where railways shine over road transport when waiting for current construction work to finish. Why not plan out oh why not plan out rough plans for rails to not block yourself out of options because rails rail uses a lot of space. Okay, um, a conveyor belt versus rail. I don't have a clue which is more expensive. So if I uh, for instance uh, let's let's go for uh, a concrete rail. Um, I don't know how, how expensive that is. Does that need steel? Yeah, it needs like five tons of steel. And um, if I go for a conveyor belt of the same length, I'm, I'm like this. I don't have any anything to attach it to. Uh, so um, have a conveyor. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to put you like this for the same length, right? And then till. Something like this. Um, I think it's about the same. If I see this happening, let's let's build the the, the rail. Uh, well, um, the the conveyor is more expensive, way more expensive. But the point also is, um, uh, just let me. Demolish this because we don't ever want to build this. Oh, uh, go away. I didn't remove you, right? Oh, thank God. Don't use the bulldozer. <laughs> That was a close call. Oh, God. <laughs> um, but the point is with rail, I cannot only do rail between the, the iron... Um, iron ore and the, the coal uh, facility because trains will have to be bought uh, in the border so we, we we will have to plan rail all together here that's gonna, going to be an issue here already already well we can go probably here something that would be an option still with the um, with the It's already going to be uh, difficult, I think. So yeah, that is definitely something to think about. I, 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 I don't want to uh, wait too long actually for the comments. So I, I'm going to uh, fast forward a bit. Adam says, heli construction. Yes, 100%, absolutely. Not only to speed up uh, and do construction from everywhere, but to make plenty of money from selling the choppers when you're building them. Maybe two to three heli construction factories to make them in bulk for sh shipping. Money worries gone, and really to pound uh, the mega monument. Um, Adam, can I um, tell tell you how much one helicopter construction um, airplane construction thing is? It's only 528 tons of steel, so uh, 30 tons mechanic co co components are a okay. So yeah, let's call that future plan. And I'm definitely definitely because I looked into it. Um, going to want to have this airline uh, production thing going. I'm being careful with one because I've already looked at um, decent um, helicopters. One who, who can transport 12 tons of steel is now 3 million dollars. So, what I want to do, probably when we have the. Uh, I'm, I'm going to pause you a little bit because it's 16 November and I need to do stuff before, before winter. Um, And once this is up, I want to have an oil power plant. And this oil power plant, we can uh, export the power to 
the West to make money because we need to raise three million dollars somehow, somewhere, right? Um, so yeah, I'm. I really want to make the Sputnik uh, monument with helicopters. That sounds just way too cool, way too cool. And then um, uh, 68 Teapot says, "Hi Kai and Maya. I placed a comment about the meat storage on Dennis's show ch channel. I noticed that when the meat truck arrived at the store that the meat would split between the storage and the shop so only half of the meat would go to the shop so it would run out very quickly especially with Dennis's bug going on you would you would love you would lose half your uh, storage of the vehicle because it went in the meat storage never to be returned to the shop uh, plus the storage wouldn't push the meat back to the store even when there were, were enough sellers in the shop yeah uh, I've noticed that your storage was completely full. I don't believe you've assigned your distribution office to deliver 100%. So I think the same therefore has happened to you. You did have some meat issues a few episodes ago. Teapot, PS, I love the series. Thank you. And I think th this is happening uh, because I also have a direct line which delivers the meat. No, the distribution office is, is not at 100%, but I think this line is going back and forth, back and forth. And when the shop is full of meat, it gets pushed into the storage, which is now again totally full. So I think the the <laughs> the line makes sure that my uh, refrigerator uh, the, uh, thingy never does anything. So what would be good, I think, if I put this one on the line, and then the small one in the distribution office. I think that would be a good idea. Uh, you're going there. And um, I need... Oh no, you. I need... You. Okay. And you... Uh, if I assign you to the distribution office, will you uh, be emptied out? I hope not. Uh... Uh, no, okay, excellent. And then... Um, I do not have a schedule anymore. Okay, that's my bad. Uh, you can go... Should have done it the other way around. Anyway, there. Load. Meet. And you can go... Where am I? Here. On load. Wait until unloaded. Don't go to depot. Go. Okay. That's done. Um, and then Adam says, pumps, conveyor engines, and all that stuff. No, you don't need a pump. It's about, uh, I was telling uh, here, that I, uh, when I added, where are you? That I don't know sure if this needs a pump. But it, uh, Adam says it doesn't need only uh, the storage of the refinery won't get pushed but i think that's fine because uh with a pump this will always be full and so i would kind of may yeah I'm, I'm doubting maybe i can reroute you to deliver at the i think that's what i'm going to do still have a pump so we have a hundred ton extra storage and i have this line which is picking up here delivered to the to the how do you call this to the storage would be a good idea and um, the oil plant, aircraft plant, coal, iron, ore plant will happily use the stockpile or oil tank warehouse storage as its own private supply and it will never slow down production in any way. Dennis Buck notwithstanding. Uh, the benefits of a pump engine is that the pump engine will always try to stuff the plant's internal storage full, whereas without the pump the plant's internal storage might end up with only 1.1 tons of oil, food, oil, water, fluid, coal in the plant itself which is a pr problem at all but i do, do like myself a buffer of a full plant because reasons yeah me too i agree i agree adam also says i am i, I run three kilometers from the coal and maybe another three kilometers from the city yep that's a problem okay how about after uh, constructing everything else maybe a coal city with steel mill and the power plant i was thinking that direction only the power plant i wanted to make from the oil because uh, I think we have excess oil and um, and then maybe have a, a supporting city here you, you have to go away then or maybe even here because the 
think here it is the call. I think call was here or maybe a supporting city here somewhere in the neighborhood. So that we can have a cable way towards the iron. I was thinking something that that also I found a good suggestion to import the iron and the and the coal to, to never export steel. Uh, because we have uh, the airline production line we want to create, we have our radio station, we are probably going to use the steel. So yeah. Um, uh, well, uh, three time iron mines, each 40% and future proof the heck out of, the, of that coal with four mines, 50% plus to feed everything from heating plants to power plants to more power plants for export. It's going to be to need the beginnings of a mega train. That's going to need a large city all of its own. Uh, yes, definitely. How many things can you build at once? Me? One. <laughs> Crazy thing is, I think you you could pull it off. I think so too. Um, but I'm probably want to focus more on creating the monument and 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 uh, because this is going to be a, a ten year project all of its own. Now ten year, five year project all all of its own. I think. But I really like the idea. Um, Pollution, heating plants, and other similar, similar dirty things have a range of 400 meters, I think. So as long as all dirties are 400 meters or more away from the water or the city, you should be good. The sewage outflow pipe has the percentage uh, clean when you click on it. Um, yeah, uh, here. Let's have one uh, out of here. Um, Pollution is 52%. And how. Uh, here we are. But, but the actual pollution stays pretty. Well, it's, it's getting close. Getting close. But if I zoom in, it's, it's kind of on the other side of the water still. So, are you at. It's 92. Yeah, it is going down because it was 93. So we might have to. Uh, uh, Put you there or something. I don't know. Let's see later. Um, so, and the, um, the sewage assets percentage. 90% is great, almost clean, and doesn't spread any dirty red dots. Uh, and citizens aren't too dirty most of the time. But the more peeps and the more industries, the bigger the pool lake flows. I think this also has a limit of 400 meters, but that's a guess. Sewage treatment plants are expensive, and the price of chemicals. To clean water is extortionate. Bottom line, part of the fun, <laughs> is that as time goes, each extra building, each extra citizen, every extra productivity increase will mean Pool Lake will grow. Yeah, um, um, I think that's also a reason why we uh, probably are going to add another water pump. Maybe even here, just away from, from it all. And um, that th this time, this one in time will have to go. I wouldn't know how to do that. I've 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 had an extra pump, so I can uh, I can add here and uh, remove you later. Okay, excellent. And then um, Jarlene says uh, 31. Is it allowed to buy cargo cars? I think that was uh, because of the the. Uh, of, I forgot the name. Um, how do you call this again? The cableway. Yes, you are al allowed to buy them. Only you have to buy them at the border. Winter is coming. Second, the heater will be needed. Whisk pipe. Yes. Um, and now I am forgetting <laughs> that I wanted to do stuff. And it is November 21st. And I pressed on play. So, are you done? No. Oh. Uh, it's minus nine. People are cold. So, where are you? Are you in the neighborhood? Not even close. But, so let's take a look at, uh, I think, 14, 15 degrees. Please be warmer. 15.7, that's still okay-ish. I have a feeling it, it stays warmer than last winter. It can also be minus 16, you know, you don't please stay warm. So, um, 27, I have to buy, hold on, I have to buy snow plows. Um, and, um. What's the speed you are going? Uh, uh, th this is not a snowplow. Uh, you are going 21, uh, 52, 38. My winter dance is gone. 
I'm going to look if it's necessary that I uh, have my vehicles on um, um, the, uh, if it's necessary for the challenge that vehicles expire that you cannot buy them anymore because I also had it with the covered hull and, and I, I like some vehicles uh, I like to still use them so your 11 one here and the other one I'd like to have uh, here purchase no plow uh, maybe later is there coming any let's see if any money is coming our way no not really so now the last one I'm not going to buy that's just uh, that is what it is okay um, so we have half a day for the vehicles to be here that's not going to happen but okay I was too late luckily we're getting some food here so we're uh, uh, good for the winter with our TV we're getting electronics here and snow okay let's just wait uh, oh we are getting some extra money um, and those were the comments okay excellent Thank you for being so engaged. I love it. I love it. Um, so how, how far are we in? I have to check again. Uh, 31 minutes. Okay. So uh, what did we not do? Because I was doing other things. It's here. Now it's minus 3 and we, we are 20 ish. So where are you? You are already deciding to go very, very slow. Once you're out of here, this road goes. Hurry up a bit. So. Um, sorry. Why are you not plowing? Uh, any reason? Gravel road. What's the big idea here? Oh, you woke up. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Always better. Um. <laughs> um. Anyway, steel is coming. Hurry up. And are you the one in high priority? Please, 99.52. You are for the heating pipe? Yeah, thank you. 7%. 0.63 tons of steel, people. <laughs> so how is the... Let's play a little bit. How is everything going here? This is not done. Ugh, I would really love it to be done. But it seems like our snow plows are doing their job. I thought I had two here. Oh yeah, I do have. So we also have to set up this. And we are getting some money. How, how is the... None of you are done, right? Not by... Because of the steel. Okay. Well, then we have to go and build it through winter. It is what it is. Um, so, what are you doing? High voltage wires, unfinished pipeline. We have 40, and you are going to another unfinished pipeline. You know, I have two, to be honest. High voltage wires. None of. Which unfinished pipeline do you have to do? Only this one. Oh, here goes. Uh, no, yeah, here goes 20 tons of steel. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to increase the priority. I should have done this before. Hi. Hi. So, that this gets done, because uh, oh, three and three tons. 
still there and they would have um, pro progressed. So now what do we have? Well, we still have 23 tons of steel. So are you going to uh, also an unfinished pipeline? Is anything coming towards my uh, platforms? No, huh? Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you for taking care of that very much. Yeah, 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 excellent. Excellent. Okay. Um, so, we can assign the groundwork to you. And how, lo how long do you need, do you think? We don't have any people yet. Only five work days. <laughs> 30 people. Okay. Hurry up. That will be uh, more than enough uh, to send 90 people to, the, to this uh, construction. Okay. Done. So, uh, this should... Uh, It'll be getting warmer pretty soon. 17. There we go. Go, go, go. The other way around. Thank you. And it's nice and cozy. Excellent. Well, that was uh, a week too late, but we managed. We're, we're, we're very unhappy people. 43 deaths. Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, a bit, a bit. Okay, it is what it is. Anyway, uh, let's let's. Oh, we are safe now. So, what uh, can we do in in winter? Uh, what do we want to do? Um, well, I would like to have some more snow plow coverage. That's for sure, and that's going to be my first uh, thing to do because this is. This is bad. And I don't know why only this piece. We have two snow plows here and two snow plows here. What's the problem here? Probably because you are getting fuel or something. And um, so have you arrived? You have arrived. Where are you? What are you doing? We are starting here. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to fast forward this a bit because I just need to wait for money. And uh, are you still full? No, have. Oh, and I know why. Go away. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. How can I forget this every time? It's getting annoying. So where are you going? This is how... How I would want it. Okay. So we are starting the construction here. Uh, the first phase, which is also 4000 work day, so it's a pretty big phase. Next phase we won't be doing for a long time, I think. Um, let's see where can we kind of... How is our kindergarten? Ah, some room for improvement. Here we can kind of have some people. Help with education a bit. And we need some more culture. For sure. you a little bit happier so yeah um this was kind of a wrap it up for uh for the winter episode i think um we need more snowflakes yeah okay uh, I'm going to save for that uh, first. Uh, maybe add one here as well. 
Furtive. Snow pal. Uh. Yeah, this is alright. Seven. Okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, I hope to see you next time. And then we're going to, to do more about, I think, planning steel, really. Uh, what our next steps are going to be. I want to have some more housing. Uh, I definitely want to um, prioritize uh, housing. Because uh, before the end of the year, I want to import people. And I've been postponing that. So, uh, have one flat, maybe two. Two. Two flats. Yeah. And have the priority on high. So that um, we can import people. Because here we have only room for 70. And we need to have some. Some expansion in the city. Uh, probably uh, a bigger shopping mall. Things like this. We need to uh, address. So um, I hope you have a nice day. And thank you for sticking it out with me. Uh, I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.